Every year, 2 to 3 trillion wild-caught fish, 100 billion farmed fish, and 350 to 400 billion farmed shrimp are killed globally for food. This is 35 times more individual animals than all farmed land animals combined. Fish and other aquatic animals do not respond to stimuli in the same way as mammals, making it difficult for humans to empathize with them and understand that they too feel pain. Because of this, aquatic animals that are farmed or caught in the wild have not been given the same protection as other animals in food systems. However, scientists have confirmed that fish are capable of feeling pain, emotion, and have impressive cognitive abilities. Fish naturally produce opioids which are created by the body in response to pain. These act as the body's innate painkillers. They also have the ability to learn skills, use tools, build complex social relationships, and recognize human faces. More research is emerging to prove the same for other aquatic animals such as lobsters, crabs, and shrimps. Aquatic Life Institute firmly believes that we all can and must do better with regard to how we treat these animals. We must begin thinking and acting in ways that protect the main stakeholders in wild and farmed settings, which are the aquatic animals themselves. The suffering of aquatic animals and wild capture fisheries is broken down into four stages. Capture, retrieval, onboard handling and live storage, and stunning and slaughter. These animals and animals that are incidentally caught, what we call bycatch, as well as animals caught in abandoned fishing gear, need to be given the same protection. An animal welfare-based approach in fisheries management will not only prioritize animal welfare issues, but also conservation and sustainability issues. Best practices in wild capture fisheries include humane capture and retrieval and stunning and slaughter technologies as well as training for appropriate handling of aquatic animals. Aquatic animal welfare is also essential in farmed or aquaculture settings. Poor animal welfare on farms means poor water quality, increased aggression, stress and injury, and susceptibility to disease. Aquatic Life Institute recommends the following five welfare pillars in aquaculture. Environmental enrichment, feed composition, space requirements in stocking density, water quality, and stunning and slaughter. To learn more about aquatic animal welfare, visit ali.fish, follow us on social media, and sign up to receive our newsletters.